Hi y'all, this is Tammy with Allie's Poor House. I'm gonna do another ninja swipe today. I'm kind of got a theme of undersea for this one. The last one I did was more of a, to me, a landscaping type of a swipe. But this is a ninja swipe. I've got a split base of white house paint and pe silk and peacock house paint up here. Um, this is kind of my storyboard here. This tells all that I'm going to be doing. This is from the last one I did, but I'm gonna switch things. The last one I did had green down here and it swiped up like this and it looked like plants and flowers. This one, I'm going to have blue and golds, metallics down here as kind of a seabed thing and then have the greens coming up like I hope anyway, like like help and uh, um, stuff like that. And then have along here, what would hopefully look like sea anemones. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm, as I said, I'm just learning this. This is gonna be my, like my second or, no, this will be my, I think my third one that I've done like this. So it should be interesting, but it's gonna take me a while to do this and I'm gonna be thinking through the process while I do it. So um, if you wanna go along for the whole thing, you can come along for the whole thing. If you don't, well, skip out on half of it or whatever. I mean, it, it is gonna go through a process. Gibbies, you're right in my way. Okay, so first, I'm, <laughs> Gibbs is right under my chair. So first I'm gonna make sure that all of this stuff here is covered. Um, I want all of the edges to be covered. And uh, I've already put down, like I said, my base paint. So um, I've got the bottom covered with um, brown paper and um, uh, frog tape, painter's tape. So I can keep my my um, the bottom of my canvas nice and well pretty that's what i thought the last time and the the bottom did get a little dirty but not much i can do about that so anyway so i'm just gonna go through this and get out different colors and do my thing right now i'm popping air bubbles since i just mixed these up even though i mixed them a few days ago it didn't stay mixed real good but anyway so okay all right, so I want to do the bottom part first, which would be blues and golds. Blues and golds. And sea colors, maybe. We'll see. Yep. Oh, I just squirted myself on the face. I have to go wash my face when I get done with this. This is kind of stuck. I'm just gonna put this here. This is, um, oh, this was, this blue was um, uh, Montmartre Ultra Navy or Ultra Marine Blue. This is this the Ska Ferro Turquoise Blue. This is Azo Nickel Gold. the seabed and put a little gold in there. Let's see, where's my gold? I have my cart here. Here's some champagne that I put together. It's 50% gold and it's 50% silver. And so we'll put a little bit, just a little champagne. There we go. And then then we come with the colors. Then we come with the colors. It's going to be very, very colorful. So excuse me while I try to find some of my colors here. And I did order some, I, I ordered some um, day glow colors. I got, 
got orange and I've got kind of a, a um, oh, like a flamingo pink coming, Devo colors. Those should be pretty interesting, actually. So what I do with these is I take these colors out and I, uh, greens, I've got to have greens for this. Blues, blues, greens, sea green, sea glass, all sorts of colors like that. A green though, I need greens now for my, I got lots of these popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna put dots of gold, green. So remember, I'm gonna be swiping these. Ninja swiping them. And I cover these because when I don't, I get paint in them. Like I said, this is probably going to be a long one because I'm, I'm just feeling my way through this whole process here. Green here. I'm going to need some of these little piggies in here too, which I will add. This is Arteza Pearl Olive. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Can you see it? So I'm going to put some of that in there. Mm. So these are going to be kind of the, hopefully, the um, grasses and kelp and stuff. I'm hoping that's the way it works out. I need to get some of this little pigeon, but I'll be right back. Oops. Um, I'm running out of space. <laughs> uh, okay, this little piggy. Um, I want this little piggy ore, which is a nice rich gold. See this little piggy or and it's very thick but that's okay I don't want much of it This turns out. Um, I have a specific plan for this one, so I'm hoping this one will turn out. Um, I need azo nickel gold, and there it is. Oh, come on! And I need so this is golden azo nickel gold, and then I also have um, uh, um, rust oleum copper penny metallics from their metallics this is azo nickel gold which i already put down here but this is a different formula that i'm putting on there now this is a thicker formula the other one was more of a um as you can see it's running well this one won't this is very thick so that shouldn't run I should say. and then here's the um, rust-oleum rust -oleum copper penny Mm -hmm. And then I'll put some more greens in here, too. Well, here, we need some of this. Okay. Okay, so... These are such gorgeous colors. Okay, so I need one more green, I believe, and then I'm going to swipe that. This is something that I've lost track of which one this is. It's a real grass green, 
which I don't want too much grass green. And then I think I'll put some of this little piggy sea glass in here too. So there's grass green, grass green, say that three times fast. Um, but I'm gonna put some sea glass from this little piggy in here, which is, let's see here. That's emerald. Seaglass. Okay, so this is this little piggy sea glass. And so I'm going to stir it up. Piggy sea glass, and then I think I'm going to take a little bit of Amsterdam greenish gold, greenish blue. Sorry, I'm just trying to think so far ahead. And then I'm going to put that on the sea glass. This is Amsterdam greenish blue, which is just a gorgeous color of blue. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to put some on top of all this stuff. And then we're going to sweat. Now, I'm getting some really cool, cool, cool things down here. Um, a lot of what I'm seeing is um, from uh, some paints not being the same consistency because I went to a thicker formula, but I'm using some paints that are um, that are thinner because that's just the way I wanted it. So we're going to take these down, try to get them down here a little bit. I want to mix them up a little I'm tilting the canvas. Oops. I'm trying to mix everything up just a little bit, but I'm mixing it too much. All right, I'm going to get my little handy dandy Swiffer handle. It's a small one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these and oh, I don't know if it looks like a seabed, but <laughs> it's got a lot of movement. So anyway, um, cleaning my Swiffer off. Um, yeah. So let's pop some more air bubbles.
Hmm. Thinking people, thinking. I do a lot of thinking when I'm doing this. Hmm. but I have no paint right there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to share a little bit of this paint here. Hmm. I want to get these a little more. Okay, that's quite beautiful. I don't think it has anything to do with the sea, but now as I move off my Swiffer again, um, now I'm going to show you how I make, I think I'm done with the, with the handle or, you know, maybe, maybe I can do a little bit more. Yeah. Got some gorgeous colors in it. Mm, I like what's happening here a lot. So I'm gonna leave that alone. But now, now I'm gonna make my flowers. And those are interesting because I just kind of, they're, they're, Shaley Carruthers blooms, but they're not as maybe, I don't know, constructed as hers. I don't know how you would put it, but I only do one, I only do one part of, hmm. Yeah, this is my CA. Um, so activator, yeah. Um, I only do one part of what she says to do for the bloom. So I put, gosh, that is really pretty now. Can you see this okay? Yeah. Okay, so um, so I took like, take like three colors and put little dots of them here. And then, remember, I'm gonna try to make them like there's sea and sea anemones. Here we go. Um, yep. And then I'm going to take a, a straw and just blow once in the middle of it. Oops, did I move you too much? Um, so, this should be interesting. So, I need to make these just a little bit. I need to make it just a little bit fe more feathery up there. And that just is, gosh, the colors are gorgeous. They truly are. Hmm. Well, okie dokie, I will do some blooms, but I honestly don't know where I'm going to do them. Hmm. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. This is um, Arteza Pearl Lilac. I'm going to put it in a few little places, and I'm too darn short. Okay, so I got, <laughs> I got, I got the length of it done. I am going to have to move this so that I can do some flowers, some blooms. And since I'm short, can you see this? It's just gorgeous. I, it really kind of maybe looks like a mess to you, but <laughs> it's really not. It's gorgeous. Um, oops, you're not my straw. Do it, 
doopy 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 doo. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take some lilac. I just don't know where I want to put these. Hmm. And a little bit of maybe this. This is Matisse, whoops, Rose Matter. We'll put a little bit of that on there. And then we'll take a little bit of, this is, um, Arteza Pearl White. Take a little bit of that, and a little bit there, and a little bit there. Now let's see how those look. Okay, so I'm going to take some white cell activator. I'm going to put it on here. It's a lot of cell activator. Okay. I think maybe I'm going to take a little bit of, this is Prussian blue cell activator. I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it on there. Just add that little something to it. And then I'm going to take my straw and blow straight down on these. And there you go. We'll just let that wait and see how that comes. <laughs> yeah, baby, that's doing what I wanted it to. <laughs> and then we will take a skewer after a little bit and kind of make petal type of things. I don't know if C anemones have petals or not, but mine are gonna have petals. <laughs> so, all right. Those are gorgeous. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, wow. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Um, maybe we'll take some. This is Matisse. Uh, hmm. This is Matisse Dioxazine Purple. And it's from a tube paint. This is not a pigment paint. I mean, it's all got pigment, of course, but. I'm gonna put maybe one, two, three with dioxazine purple, two. And then I'm going to take, boy, those are incredible. Then I'm going to take um, I don't know, maybe a um, something a little lighter. Um, I'm going to take a uh, Arteza Pink. This is an Arteza Pink Deep Base. I'm going to put that in there. Well, I don't want to do too many with pink. That is not what I'm going for, but I'll put some blues too, so it'll be okay. And then I'm going to put some, um, I think I'm going to take some, this is Pearl Tangerine, or Pear Tangerine, it's a uh, Pear Tangerine or Pear, I'm so sorry, Pearl Tangerine orange from Arteza, and that was way too much on there. No, I don't want that at all. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Remember, I'm only putting like three. Three colors for the blooms. Now I want to put gold cell activator on it. Boy, 
gold cell activator. Gold, gold, gold cell activator. And then one blow. Yeah, and then just let it sit for a little bit while I mess with these guys. Wow, those are just so flipping pretty. I don't want to touch them, quite frankly. Hmm. Hmm. So I think these are gonna stay. I'm not going to do anything to those. I sure hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, now I want blues. I want a couple of nice blues. So let's do this one. This is um, Amsterdam Prussian Blue. It's a nice dark base. Do that one too. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do um, this white. This is that Arteza pearl. Darn it! It's just just go right in where I want you. Right there. There and there. Okay. And I want, this is, um, I'm going to put some of this little piggy in here too, and some, uh, maybe, we'll see, I'm, I'm not sure yet, never mind. Remember, this is, I'm thinking while I'm doing this, because I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I think... I, I really believe I want to have some blue, um, yellow. Pretty sure I want to have some yellow in here. That's got lots and lots of bubbles. Let's see if I can get those. Okay, now I want... Uh, a little bit of the Prussian blue cell activator. And I need to put some more cell activator um, on these guys. So I need to do a little something different on those because they're not doing what they're supposed to do except for that one is and then I want white on here so activate hmm. okay now I want to do this Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I'm like, oh my God, let me get in here and look at this. Uh, 
don't like the way that's looking right there. Look at those cells. Mm -hmm. So I've got so many colors to do. Oh, I was going to do yellow. Well, I will do some. Yes, I will do some yellow because that was so pretty in my last one. So this is. Oh, uh, what is this? This is. Alizarin Al Crimson. It's a gorgeous color. Of course, they all, God, they all are such beautiful colors. But we're going to put this, we're going to do this one right here. And maybe another one right up here. There we go. Then I would love to put my other one in there. I want to put some, some no, Alarzen, Alazan, Alazan, something like that. Anyway, um, I want to put my Prussian blue, crimson, and gold formula on these. Mm -hmm. There. Where's the other one? I thought I had just two of them. Is that it? I guess so. And then I want yellow. But before I do that, I've got to fix that and this. That's got to go up. This is, I'm not sure what happened to this one right here. There we go. And I'm not sure what's going on with this one. There we go. Mm. These, some of them are just not cooperating. Mm -hmm. See, some of them aren't getting, some of them just aren't getting what I want. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow first. Yellow, yellow, and then we'll put some gold cell activator. And there's yellow, and there's yellow. Okay, and then. I think we're going to put maybe a little bit, a little dot of this in there too. Okay, so I want gold cell activator. I just don't think on some of these that I'm putting enough gold cell activator or any enough cell activator on them. That one just went right over the edge, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Mm. No. Hmm. That's interesting some of these are working and some of them are not Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. Some of them just are not working the way I want them to. It's amazing. Hmm. And so I need to put some. These are awfully pretty. I'm, oh, I just got, I just rubbed my nose and got stuff. I think I need to put something right here. And I think I'm going to do a, I, I'm not sure what's going on with my blue flowers here. They're just not doing what I'm requiring them to do. At all. But that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous, even though it's running down. Hmm. Okay. Well, interesting. I need to repair some of these spots here. Hmm. You're just going to get the whole thing with me here. So, as I said, buckle up, Buttercup. You're probably right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, shoot. All right. So, we're going to take this is Flex Orange. It is Amsterdam. Flex Orange. And you might go, oh my God, look at that. But it's really quite stunning on. Oh, I just stuck my finger in the, there goes that. Where else do I need to make a change? Um, a different, uh, add some color. Maybe up, no, there's a lot of yellow up or orangey, peachy. I think just this one will have this one. And this is somebody's. Let's sell my other stuff. This is their favorite color. Go figure. I'm gonna get some mango. This is this little piggy mango. And I'm gonna put that on there. You can see I use a lot of it because there's not very much left in the cup. I just love this color. Okay, so there goes the mango. And then I'm going to put some, um, think I'm going to put some Arteza Scarlet Red on there. I don't have any real red. Let's see how that turns out. Um, oops. Um, I think maybe I want some... No, I don't want that. I think I want some, um, hmm. Well, I think, okay, we'll just put some, um, uh, Prussian blue cell activator on it. There we go. And then we'll put some white. Cell activator on it. Okay, so let's see how we do with that. Let's just leave it for a minute. I don't think there's free floating sea anemones in the ocean, but <laughs> uh, my painting's got them. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. Oops. I make such a mess. really do. It's so beautiful, though. I really, I'm really liking this new, to me, way that I'm doing this. And I haven't seen anybody else. Oh, shoot. I think I just scorched that. I haven't seen anybody else really doing what I'm doing here. But, 
Oh, yeah, see, I just scorched that. Oh, that, there went that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Ha. Oops. Okay, so anyway. Um, okay, let's see what that does. I shouldn't have too much of this. I've been real careful about keeping everything level. And uh, don't have a whole lot going on here. Somebody here? Yes, you're keeping a close eye. I can hear somebody out there, but I don't see them. All right, so. Well, hmm, I gotta say, this is really stunning. My goodness. <laughs> gotta do something over here, though. What colors? So many colors to choose from. I think got a lot of blue over here, so I think something with red. And this is stunning here. So I'm gonna put red down first. And then not very big. And then we will put um oops, darn. Good thing I have the lid on that. <laughs> Whoa. Shoot. Okay, so we've got red down. How about some purple? Red and purple always go along real well together, don't they? Yep. Oh. Huh? Um, and then I think some light lilac. And then some light lilac on there, just to kind of add a little bit of lightness. And then some yellow. Why not? This had yellow in it, and it didn't show up at all. Uh, let's just take a little scoop of yellow out of there. And we will put some, boy, this is, it's a nice day here in, in uh, Eugene. It is 64 degrees right now. And we have got, um, I, my paintings are already drying really quickly here. I'm gonna take this and pull that in just a little bit here. just to give it some definition a little bit there. See what I'm saying? That just gives it some definition, kind of makes it look like, um, hmm. Hmm. That one's kind of cool. Anyway, um, let me finish this one over here and then I can show you more what I'm doing. Mm, there we go. This is the Prussian Blue Cell Activator. Oh, that's Cell Activator. That doesn't go over there. I don't want to mix it up. And this is the Gold Cell Activator. Oops, don't 
Don't throw it around, Tammy. Um, and then I think a little white cell activator. Not much. Yeah. So, I tell you, I, I swear this is just um, uh, absolutely. beautiful way to do stuff because I mean it just brings it oops, something something just so different and new you all know I'm very into abstract um, but this just makes it so more than than what I ever thought that I would be doing. So I don't know. Okay, so here we're gonna do this one. Oh. There we go. Let's see how that one turns out. I'm at 46 minutes, but sorry, I told you this was gonna be a long one, but I think I'm about done. So as soon as this one comes up and I see what it looks like, I am going to turn it off because not much of anything more that I can do or that I want to do to this. I think it's... <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew there was somebody out, out front. <laughs> 